Blessed morning po sa lahat. Welcome to another Everyday God Devotion. Today's Bible passage will come from Ezekiel chapter 40, verse 38, NASB version. The chamber with its doorway was by the side pillars at the gates. There they rinsed the burnt offering. Title of today's devotion, God's Great Grace. The prophet Ezekiel uses prophecies, parables, and object lessons to report God's message to his exiled people. And a large portion of Ezekiel's book focuses on a temple in Jerusalem that has yet to be built. And the last nine chapters of Ezekiel contain a very detailed vision of this temple. But there has been uncertainties of how exactly to interpret this vision. Some take it to be a vision of the temple found in heaven. But John says very plainly in his vision of heaven that he saw no temple in it. For the Lord Almighty and the Lamb are its temple. Revelations 21 verse 22. The book of Hebrews tells us that Jesus as high priest does not need to offer sacrifices every day like the other high priests. What the other high priest does is to offer sacrifices first for their own sins and then for the sins of the people. But Jesus did this once for all when he sacrificed himself on the cross. Hebrews 7 verse 27. The sacrifices will serve as a visible reminders of Jesus' work on the cross and will have no other purpose but to honor and memorialize Jesus' death. Now observing these sacrifices would be much like how we observe the Lord's Supper today, which we do to remember and remind ourselves of Jesus' sacrifice once and for all on Calvary. Hebrews 7 verse 27. We are reminded that Jesus' sacrifice never needs to be repeated again. The good news is that the penalty of sin has been removed once and for all, so that once Jesus was off that cross, he never had to go back again. Now a story during the Civil War, a young Pennsylvania farmer who had recently lost his wife was drafted as a soldier. He was concerned for his children, not knowing who would support and take care of them. His neighbor friend came to him and said, I've been thinking, you're needed here at home. So I decided to take your place. The neighbor was immediately called to the front lines and unfortunately was shot and killed in his very first battle. When the farmer heard the news, he went to find his friend's body at the cemetery. And on his tombstone, the farmer carved the inscription, he died for me. You know, when we accept Jesus as our substitute, we are accepting his death for us. The punishment for our misdeeds and sins have already been carried out on him. Jesus Christ died for you and me. The question is, have you personally received Jesus Christ into your life? Who is God's great grace? Amen. God bless you all.